Hello and welcome to the part 2 of my Nintendo September 2021 Nintendo Direct predictions. It's Liam Score here and in case you guys don't know, a Nintendo Direct is going down today and everybody is hyped for the Direct. Now, in today's prediction video, I'm going to be talking about some stuff I didn't talk about in the last predictions video and also sort of talk about some new stuff like reflection and newer stuff. So we're going to start off with reflecting on what I talked about in the last video. So I talked about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Kirby, Donkey Kong, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and WarioWare Get It Together. Now the Direct didn't actually happen before WarioWare Get It Together came out. So basically I was sort of wrong about WarioWare. If it gets some DLC today then perhaps I would be correct at a sort of level. But... I was very worried that Nintendo Direct wouldn't come and I just made that video for nothing. Two weeks worth of waiting since the last part and now we are at part two, the final part to this speculation scene. So today I want to extend and sort of talk about some stuff I didn't talk about in the last video. So first off, who is that Smash character? So, it's pretty likely that we will be seeing the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Fighter DLC Pack 11 revealed in the Nintendo Direct. Very likely at the very start of the Direct, which is absolutely insane and I couldn't be more hyped for this character. But it's also a bit sad at the same time, mainly because this is the end of the Ultimate Smash Bros. game. So... It depends what Nintendo goes with, whether it be a big banger like Crash Bandicoot or Waluigi or Doom Slayer or Master Chief to probably a little bit more of a uh, pick like another Pokemon or Phoenix Fight. But I'm very excited to see who this character is and I hope people will be happy with whatever character is unveiled and I hope I'll be happy and not lose my temper over it not being Waluigi. Now, Nintendo did say in their tweet that they'd be focusing on games releasing in winter, so also that could probably mean early 2022. So today I'd like to talk about uh, some 2022 games I think will be coming. So, I think the 3D Donkey Kong or Kirby games could be coming out in 2022. It's very likely because I don't think they'll be coming out this year, mainly because of the development schedule, but it depends on how long they've been in development. And also, I think we're getting a look at the next Luigi's Mansion game. Now, this is a long shot. It depends if this will happen or will not happen, but it's very unlikely we will be seeing the next Luigi's Mansion game at tonight's Nintendo Direct. Now, Splatoon 3, it's been quiet for the past seven months, and we haven't really heard about too much info on the game. All we've seen is a trailer, and that's about it. And nothing else has really been released. Breath of the Wild even got some stuff. So, will we see Splatoon 3 in this showcase? I'm not sure, but we may if we're lucky and Nintendo decides to do it. But it honestly depends on where they are in the development cycle of Splatoon 3. Whether they're almost done with the game, whether they're in the middle of the game, or they haven't even got through half of the development schedule in order to make the game. Now, why do you see Cappy on the screen? That's because I think Super Mario Odyssey 2 will be coming next year. So in case you don't know, I made a video about the repeat of 2017 going on so we get Splatoon 3 next year Breath of the Wild 2 next year and it just feels like next year will be the second biggest year of the Switch mainly because of obviously we get, we're getting more sequels towards the actual very very hyped and exciting games and I think Super Mario Odyssey 2 should be revealed mainly because it came after Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 Metroid Dread, now what can we say about Metroid Dread? Metroid Dread I think is very likely to show up at this Direct tomorrow mainly because of how much stuff it's had shown off already from trailers to the story trailer but 
it depends on whether Nintendo wants it to make an appearance, because since there's been tons of trailers, it may have spoiled the game a bit and also the story, but also shown us on what's probably happening with the game. And I personally think Metroid is likely to show up at this showcase. Mario Party Superstars, yes, we could possibly see that. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is very likely, mainly because of how Shin Megami Tensei 5 comes out on November 12th, and I really feel like Shin Megami Tensei 5 should be shown off in this showcase. And then finally, the big banger you have all been waiting for, Mario Kart 9. Now, I didn't talk about this in my last predictions video, but basically, I think we'll be seeing Mario Kart 9 tomorrow. Now, this is also a long shot pick, mainly because I think they would have revealed sort of Mario Kart 9 at E3, but Mario Kart 9 is very, very likely to happen, and maybe at least one of the lineups in the 2022 lineup of Nintendo games. Now, before you get all hyped about all these titles and games, take it with a grain of salt. The only two things I can say that will be at this direct that I have a definite answer on is Smash Ultimate and Metroid Dread. I can bet on them. Some of these other games, I'm not sure, but we'll have to see what Nintendo confirms tomorrow. Perhaps Shin Megami Tensei 5 will be shown off because it's very close to its release date. And yeah. Anyway guys, what did you think about my predictions video? What do you want to see at the Nintendo Direct? Are you excited? Are you pumped? Are you hyped? And are you hyped? Are you sort of like, meh? Or are you thinking this Direct is going to be bad? Personally, I think this Direct is going to be really good with how much stuff Nintendo can put into it, mainly because of how it's getting closer to the end of 2021. So, I think we will be seeing more of the 2022 and winter titles. The Pokemon games, I think, will be saved for another Pokemon Presents. Now, we just had one on August 18th, so I think another Pokemon Presents won't be coming till probably near Pokemon Diamond and Shining Pearl's release and Pokemon Legends Arceus's release. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video, I am signing out, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all sorts of Nintendo news, info, different content, stuff and more, and I will see you guys in the next video, and remember, this is your one stop shop for Nintendo news, see you later!